Shut up and sit down. Welcome back to my channel, The Kingfisher, and I'm right now. I, I bought a chiller. You know, my tank is not a huge tank. Usually, they say it's good for chillers, which are especially when they are, uh, you know, two feet. Ideally, about three feet, so your sum is bigger. It's easier for you to do everything. Well, I have a very small sum behind, and I really can't do much. But I prefer to have a chiller, you know, it was a very long battle that I have. Should I have, should I not, you know, it's going to cost me about, maybe I, I saw from someone in the internet says about $15, $20 per month. So it's like buying an insurance. Um, but at the same time, I can be more comfortable with corals. I don't need to on switch on my aircon. I know the chiller is going to do the job. Right, so right now, and and you know one of the challenge before I buy a chiller, right? I I got it from Helia. So I got the chiller and from Carousel, and it was brand new according to the person. Well, he was selling at two hundred heat E on on price on shops it's three eight eight sing dollars, but he was selling at two hundred eighty brand new. He said he got butterfingers and he. Immediately clicked and buy it, but you know, he doesn't really want it. He doesn't use it, and I need go to two hundred and eventually giving to two three five. So it was a bit dodgy. Wow, he's giving so cheap for a brand new Halia. Of course, it's not the latest version of it, but it's brand new. I'm like saving about more than hundred over dollars by buying from him. So it looks like a very good deal. The good thing that gave me confidence was this guy was like really can see that he's not really in to just push hard and sell it to me. He did try his best to WhatsApp call me, video call and try to explain how to work because with COVID-19 we cannot meet each other. He also tried his best to you know uh, make sure I understand it and pull in, uh, he throw in a few additional pipes and clamps so it was good it really helped me so even the money he when i got that chiller from him he didn't get the money from me he said you can pay me anytime i paid him nearly one day later right so it was giving me assurance that this guy is not out there to cheat but still i don't know whether it will work we are going to try the chiller i've seen youtube can't find a proper video on using a halia chiller for a small aqua a small nano tank mine's not really a nano tank but it's still a very small tank right um, so can it work I'm not so sure I really hope I didn't make the mistake of buying the chiller and it doesn't work I don't use SPS only LPS so it won't be that complicated but let's hope the chiller works so follow me through this journey and maybe when you get a chiller it's easier for you well, this is my Helia Chiller, brand new. Uh, you can see it's really brand new. Okay, so he gave me the pipes. And one of the big issue I had was, was this enough for me? I want to bring the light slightly nearer for me. So was this pipe size enough for me? Because I know it's enough for that. But however, my big issue that I have is that this sum is very small. It's tiny. Okay, what do I have behind? Right now, I have a filter over here. So, if you can see over here, it's a huge filter. And just nice for my QQ1 schema that is over here. Followed by in the center, there's actually biomedia and some filter wools right and of course where my light is and of course the last part you know is where my palm is going to be my palm is going to be here my palm is inside here okay you can see from the side if you can take a look at the palm it's so small and it goes all the way and it goes into here now the only way is to put these two pipes let the 
go into the palm, one of them, the inflow, go into the palm, runs into the chiller, and then goes out back into here as well. You need this kind of uh, pipe, if you can take a look, something along these lines. And you need to know the exact, right, can it fit into here? Your pipe should be bigger than this okay not this should be bigger than your pipe your pipe should be bigger than this when you put it then you clamp it together okay so you don't want water to drip out if the water drips out because it's going to go through one whole cycle right you don't want it to drip out so you have to be very careful over here okay i think my light is too much Hey Kingfishers, hey fellow fish hobbies. Hey Kingsters, right, so you need to get this pipe a kind of a tube because you need to eventually, you know, put it you need to put it around behind the tank right so you need to put this behind the tank so it's easier for you for the pipes you know they are not like going to be slanted in any way okay so you will need this and this should be smaller than your pipe size okay so i know it fits into my you know if you see it fits here definitely going to fit in okay i'll take it out this is called uh, Band tube, right? It's band tube meet YouTube. Can it fit inside? Definitely, yes. Of course, you need a bit of pressure. If no pressure in life, how to cope, right? So, we need pressure in life. Yeah! So, it's able to go in. Okay? Now, of course, now you don't put it in first. What you need is to cut it out first. Okay, I have another issue. Okay, firstly I have to switch off my palm. Just switch off anything else just in case. Uh, I think I'll switch off my fan just in case I hit it and it drops like it did one time and it was a burning smell. Uh, skimmer, I think I will let it be. One person said I should let it here and then let it out that way. But it's not going to be an inflow from that way. The inflow will still be ideally from here so right now i'm going to you know you need use this tube you measure because you're going to be here right so you know roughly here and you know what's the length that you be in okay uh, this is the most crucial part all right so you measure this inside if you can see this pipe over here bending bending tube Right, it's about this size, so I just need to cut about here to cut a bit extra so you can fit it in. Okay, let's hope you cut the right size. Should have taken a should have taken my daughter's pink scissors. I've taken a more better scissors. Let's see. Almost over. Almost. Yes. Ah. Now my tongue got stuck. That's why when you have six fingers, be careful not to use. Okay. So this part should be able to connect here. Yeah, this part you probably you need to clamp. So I got this ring, this clamp, right? Small one, cause my pipes are a bit small. My tank is also small. Thankfully, thankfully the pipe size is all right. Right. So I just clamp it. Can I enter it? 
Let me see if I can put it inside. If not, I have to loosen it a bit. I think I'm going to loosen it a little bit. Hey, I did prick myself. You can see the blood over here. That's the thing, you see. I go and use the wrong screwdriver. You know what? I just draw my first blood for my saltwater tank. Now I got two right ones, which is the right ones for the clam, I guess. Yeah. Well, my friend said don't do over tight, so just nice. Okay. Yeah, so first part done. Okay. We connected to this part so this will be have to be plugged in here oh you have to clamp this as well I guess ah so many clamps to do ah, I hope I have enough clamps okay so the length should be just nice over here not too short you know, to make sure you get a proper, you know, scissors. Don't want to take from your daughter's one. Okay, so it's going to be plugged inside here. This is called the inflow. So the inflow is connected to your pump. So your pump will generate, pump it inside inflow. And then outflow will where the water will come out. I don't even know should I even clamp it because it looks so steady. <sighs> only here, it's not that steady. Maybe only this side. Ooh, can I even open this? Ah. Okay, you go in here. And I close first. Ah. So, so far looks good. Okay. So far looks good. They're all tighten up. Now for the other part. It should be the easier part. Okay? You just have to plug it in. I prefer to have this. And then plug it in. Yes! Everything's perfect. So all I need to do is to cut it now. And make sure the size is just nice. So let me show you a bit of the work that's done so far, right? Um, first, first step is this small internal part. You needed to cut it and slot it into that filter over there, right? Filter head. So you cut it and then I only clamp at this part and the outside part over here. This is the bending tube uh, because the bending tube can leak and I don't want it to leak and make sure you're a bit high you know you don't you're not too low because the water can seep out okay I really hope it doesn't seep out so make sure you push a bit more higher and then of course the other part of it you go into the in flow you can see the word in right yeah you can see the word in and then the uh, I've seen a lot of people clamp over here as well I might clamp there I will see whether it leaks. Pushing right at the end. Give them the ultimate push all the way inside. Okay, so this part I'll just push into the these these two things. Right? And this one will be the inside part. And that's it. I don't even need to clamp. So this will go in here. will be going in here and this will continue your work over here Woohoo! so the outflow will be here so both are at the same parts in fact I don't even need a bending tube over here it looks normal yeah I don't even need a bending tube over there so I only need a one bending tube oh I didn't know that Okay, now here's for the real work. Plug it in. 
and I'm going to switch it on and then on this we'll see this now I think 26 let's go 25 okay 25 should be i mean the more cold it is means the more they will strain right i think 25 should be good oh i hear the sound so the noise i'm not sure if you can hear the noise <sighs> now is it flowing i have no idea yet if it's flowing so i have to make sure it doesn't leak anyway it's going on in a very slow motion. I can see it going. I'm not sure if you see the water, like a drip kind of thing. Let nature take its course. filter. I need to figure out how to clean the air filter. I'm finally set up. I won't say it's the best. Uh, I mean, I, I'm still a young YouTuber and I don't think that I am actually giving you a very perfect plan. But uh, I hope that you get clarity and you can always comment below if you have questions. And I'll try my best to give you more heads up of how to go through this process okay now uh some things were easier for me because i don't like all this clamping here clamping there the tube size was perfect for my filter to my pump everything so and 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 to the chiller because your pump size and the chiller size should be the same if imagine the pump the chiller is uh, of course uh, hs28 1 slash 10 so it's the smallest it goes up to 160 liters actually uh, unexpectedly cooling so fast in another 15 minutes so it's down to 24 and it's just settling there and the pipe is flowing there's no leakage uh, everything is going well right now. I got it new so I was happy so I hope it has less problem but as any aircons there are air filters you need to clean your air filters often to make sure it runs and generates properly at the same time especially when this chiller is going to run like not like your aircon in your room where you can switch off this might run for more longer periods okay even if I upgrade to a 3 feet 4 feet I think this aircon this fil this aircon should be enough for me this chiller I mean yeah so I hope my fishes are happy none no my calls are happy that's more important right fish are friends not food hey guys everybody's okay right now the chiller is getting well it was 24 I topped up a bit of water in my tank and then it went up a bit but it was cycle when I think 24 would be just perfect like an aircon chilling cool place so even if it's a hot weather they will be happy now when you are buying a chiller also make sure your air your, your heat pump um, is of the right voltage that is working um, that's attached to the chiller because the chiller will tell you what's the appropriate voltage you need for your air pump for your your pump right so make sure it's in the right voltage okay with that I think um, I don't need to use my fan anymore my ANS fan I will be probably selling it 
right? Uh, keeping it actually is 20 bucks. I think give me a bit more time before I should chill it, uh, sell it, right? Um, and then also, I think even though I got it at 235, my my part, my my you know, if you want to buy the the wires. Sorry, the tubes you will spend about 10 for one one meter should be enough that one meter will be enough for you to uh, to do it because you won't be really that far lah. I mean some tanks are really far for me it's very near uh, the bending tube at the back I needed just one in fact I'm, I'm I see people clam here but I didn't and there's no leakage because it's of the perfect fit the noise itself it's not even loud in fact I'm happy it's not loud where is uh, there should be a ventilation right oh it's coming from the back wow I think I moved the glass away um, or should I put a glass maybe the glass will reflect on it so I'll just leave it as it is the ventilation need more space so make sure it has enough ventilation to push out at the back yeah. as well so it's getting to 24 too and uh, happy man because my calls will be happy it's an expensive hobby anyway. Of course, I don't wish to do more than you know. I I don't think I can afford it now. Not say I don't wish to, but eventually I will. Hi Ella. Hi darling. Love you. <laughs> so with that, thank you so much, and see you in the next.